YouTube, it's your boy Don's Reacts back with another video. Today we're reacting to DDG Must Be Stopped by Soluminati. It's like this is the never ending beef of DDG and Soluminati. It's crazy because they've been beefing, I believe, since what 2017? Because didn't Soluminati make a reaction back in the day and he called out Kennedy? And you know, that was DDG's girl at the time. Or whatever, like he was roasting her, cause y'all know that back in the days, that was DDG thing. Everybody on the internet was gonna get roasted, and that man did not care. But DDG, like for the most part of this beef, this is the one beef that a lot of people could say DDG probably lost. But we don't know, cause it's still going on in 2023. Matter of fact, fun fact, my first video on the channel was reacting to. A, a video Soluminati made calling out DDG and he sent DDG to the spiritual realm in that video but uh, let's see what this one is all about please show a like comment subscribe share the video roll through the subscribers your boy's been sick not really feeling too good all this week so excuse my voice and I look a little rough cause mainly cause I'm sick doo doo garbage your time has come DDG your name your new name is Doodoo -doo Garbage. Doodoo -doo Garbage. Make sure for this crazy. point forward, y'all put two doodoo -doo emojis and a garbage sign next to DDG name. <laughs> Your new name is Doodoo -doo Garbage. Your time has come. It's no way out of this one. Your time has come. First thing first. I've been gone for quite some time. Y'all know why. I don't even have to explain. I yep. want to talk to you like I'm FaceTime you. I'm about to break this man down. R.I.P. Triller, bro. Literally. I'm about to break him down. Very simple. You would never look at DDG the same after this. Okay. I promise you. This would not be like any other vid that I dropped on him. This one is deep. All right. But first thing first, let me show you. Wow. This is why I'm dropping this video. I was finna say. I was finna say. Because I'm like... This seems a bit out of nowhere. Like, the Aiden situation seemed a bit out of nowhere. Because, I'm not going to lie. And the Aiden and Soul Luminary beef, it's like nobody really won. Because a lot of people is like, so was speaking facts. It's just he waited late to speak out about it. That was the Aiden's side argument. Because even Aiden's side knew that so was right. But it's just like, you took so long before you finally called him out. Because he wasn't really, he calmed down a lot on the sus jokes and the rapper streams by that point. That he, that so finally said something. But, so usually don't lose a beef. That's the whole point I'm trying to make. So, and like most times, most times, it's like, it's not like he's calling somebody out for no reason. So I'm like, this seemed a bit out of nowhere, but let's see why. Keep along. Got they bitches on me. I just hit the Illuminati hoe and then he fell off. T-shirt, okay. Way too petty. Way too petty. Right off. Fell off. T-shirt, okay. Way too petty. Fredo, Fredo, his fall off. I mean, so Illuminati. I mean, not so Illuminati. Goodness. DDG probably played a part, but the biggest thing is Fredo was beefing with everybody. It's like. It's like, the people Fredo was, like, and then, like, everybody that he was beefing with, they won the beef, technically speaking. Like, we could say it all started with the agent beef. This was the beginning of the end for, for Fredo. The agent beef, it, eh, like, it was a few people, like, a lot of Fredo's older fans lost trust in him. Then the DDG thing sparked back up. And Fredo was the one who sparked that back up. So it's like, bro, you're deflecting from the agent situation. So a lot of people pulled away from him because of that. Then next was Mikey leaving SSH. Lost when SSH members like Mikey, Bari, and the group just ending all together happened. A lot of people long, no longer trust Fredo. And then he tried to start a whole reality show. And they, they were saying he was scamming people on there too. So I'm like, that's kind of wild. Then what happened next was, uh, and then he tried to be slick and bring the family channel back. But a lot of people knew, like him and Jasmine tried to start 
apparently trying to... But a lot of people at that point knew the play. They was like, oh, he want to bring the family trying to back up because this basically desperate times calling for desperate measures type of thing. And not only that, another factor is a lot of his... A lot of us viewers that... but His OG viewers like me, a lot of us grew up. We grew out of that content that he was doing. So Illuminati didn't fall off. He's just one person that I know who was big on the internet who don't take the internet seriously. Like, Solomonati has that gift. Like, you know, most big time content creators, they take every their every move on the internet, they take it serious. Solomonati will drop Solomonati will be consistent for two, three weeks straight. Then disappear for two, three months. He's one of the only people that I know can do it. Way too petty. Who is that? Who's so, the last person? As y'all can see, while I've been gone, everybody know my brother passed away last year. And it, 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 to this day, still, it's still something that me and my family is dealing with. And I needed to be away from YouTube and I needed to be away from everything in order to really find myself again. It's crazy that this little nigga trying to feed off my pain. You see how this look? You see this? He trying to feed off my pain. Why would you try to feed off my pain and you went through the same thing? My brother didn't deserve this at all. Um, my brother was a loving person. He never hurt anybody. Like my nigga, you know the pain, bro. You know this shit is nothing to play with. For sure. You know this, my nigga. Sup? You know this, and I'm I'm only showing y'all clips. I'm pretty sure y'all can make whole compilations since I've been gone of these motherfuckers talking about me, especially him, right? Probably but so. Listen, I I'm only showing y'all clips. That much I have no idea what the fuck DDG been doing with his whole career. Doodoo -doo juice, doodoo -doo garbage. Doo -doo I have juice. no idea what he been doing. <laughs> Since I've been gone. But one clip I want to show y'all that sparked it all. Not even what he said about me. This is what sparked it all. Selling your soul is not a real transaction, bro. He's a not even a thing. thing. Like, Dang. So he basically called the DDG an industry player. See crazy. this girl right here? Oh, uh, why he bringing that girlfriend up? This is what started the original beef in the first place. Him bringing up his girl Kennedy at the time. And a lot of people have forgotten that along the way because how long they've been going back and forth. Like a whole three, four girlfriends later, they still be going at it. Girl, he borrowing her. Dang. Nigga. Now listen, I hate that she has to catch this straight, but that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> she gotta catch this straight. Her motherfucker. Bro, listen. So first thing first, the highlight of doo, -doo garbage career right now because I told you, remember back in the day, remember when I told you, you would never be looked at as a rapper. Remember I told you no matter how many songs you drop, what is the, what is Doodoo -doo Garbage top five greatest hits? Oh, Nobody man. knows. No matter what, no matter how much music you drop, no matter how many scripted vids, collabs you do, no matter what you do, you will always be looked at as Doodoo -doo Garbage who posts fake scripted vlogs. I used to always say my my opinion always was when DDG was trying to step out of the YouTube thing and pursue rapping full time. I was like, he should have just embraced the whole YouTube rapper thing because there's always going to be that subsection. I mean, a lot of people are now seeing him as a rapper, but there's always going to be that subsection who knew him for the YouTube him first. And they can always see him as a YouTube rapper. I see you've been but this I respect. Song. Now that you trying to getting become Cooley Ray? You want to be in the TikTok shit now? DDG don't know what he want to do with his music career. He don't have a sound. He sound like everybody but himself. He had, bro, listen. This is his bitch, right? Oh, here he go again, man. Right. It only take two seconds for you to search up Disney Expose. She's a melanated goddess, too. They love the melanated goddesses in Disney. All you got to do is pull up TikTok. Search TikTok, Disney Exposed. See what happened. How many celebrities from Disney has came out speaking on what the fuck has happened with them when they was kids and what's going on now in Disney? Uh, more huh? than 10 plus Disney stars, including Zendaya. So I, need to find, I need to see. I need to People look more into this. But I know the there's some weird stuff going on in Disney, Disney movies and all these Disney cartoons. Nickelodeon too. All you got to do is look it up. But one of the number one things I did notice, 
It was literally earlier this year. It was a Disney star who's black, a melanated goddess. China who's black, McClain? Who Dang. came out exposing everything. I think her name was China. I'm gonna pull up the picture for y'all so y'all can see it. So why but would dude, any woman want to do DDG, doodle garbage. My nigga, that's not your girl. You borrowing her. Why you won't tell everybody what happened in those private lodges? What do your girl go on? What happens behind the scenes? With these it sound like it sound old... like soul chatting right now, but let's be real. Let's be real, really real about this for a second. Once DDG got with uh I can't remember her name. With Holly Bailey. I think that's how you say her name. Once once they got together, that's when DDG really took off. So, like, because all before, like, when him and Ruby was together, like, people was beginning to respect him because Ruby's already in industry. So, people was kind of starting to respect him. But once him and Halle got together, it's like everybody's, like, more people started getting their eyes on him. And, and not only that, like, he was getting a lot of hate from it. Like, oh, he don't deserve her for real. He don't deserve her for real. Not only that, and then like when it was got out there, like a rumor got out there that she cheated on him. Let's be real, he deserved it. Stuff like that. So I would say, but over time, when he's when his music started getting more popping once he got with her. So that could be a coincidence. Not really. I don't know. But it does sound like so chatting a little bit, but in his defense. I will give him that. And not only that, it's like you you see every celebrity pass around the same people. Like Laura Harvey and all of them. Like all of them get passed around in the industry. So so maybe that's what he's going into as well. But I don't know how he's dating history. So I don't know. Men with glasses like white kids. I'm connecting stupid. They come for the kids. It's all type of hidden symbols, hidden messages, and Little Mermaid as well. But DDG, since you want to send messages to the kids, doo doo garbage, I just got to use your bitch. For example, <laughs> I'm not laughing at him she just calling her the B word. I'm just laughing at the way he said it. DDG, bye bye. Catch this straight. That's tough. She should have worn this. I got to leave her on one HP. But, dude, I just want to paint a picture. I even dropped a video on Patreon how they use different... Bro, listen, these is like wizards and warlocks, bro. These motherfuckers in Hollywood, it's a reason why DDG is addicted to Cali. I'm lying to the whole thing. Selling your soul, just it's just not some rapping shit or some movie shit. You got to understand, bro, majority of these people in the industry, etc., they getting... They, they doing it by... What they drinking and taking in drugs and also having sex with industry. Never have sex with industry uh, women. Don't post your room. Spirit tone, bro. Emo and Astro. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say too much. Astro off spirits and shit, bro. They pass off spirits. The minute they have sex with start to become very zesty. This is why a lot of your favorite rappers is completely changing and polishing their nails. <laughs> it's the spirits that was passed in them. Your body is a portal. Your body is a ship. So every time you doing drugs, every time you doing crazy stuff. Thought forms is created, bro. Thought forms will have you depressed, suicidal. Thought forms come from energies, entities. This shit is deep. This bot ass nigga right here, DDG, that D doodle garbage that y'all watching. He's just a part of it now. We know how vulnerable industry rappers slash artists are. They die. All these little kids lost and led astray. He's a fucking plant. This is the last thing I'm gonna say about doodle garbage. Because I got to hit the gym and I got to keep my daily uploads going. Y'all know I post every single day now. And I've been trying to keep that shit going. The last thing I'm going to say about Doodoo -doo Garbage. It's a lot of fans. It's a lot of new subscribers. And I've been gone. I feel like I've been gone for the past two years. I haven't been consistent on YouTube in general in like the past couple years. A lot of y'all have no clue. And I want y'all to ask Doodoo -doo Garbage. How many YouTube channels... Have he created? I know where he finna go with this. I know where he finna go with this because this was one of the things so used to say ever since the whole beef started in the first place. He will use he used to say about 
you know, it's the same people subscribe. Like he has a million channels, I mean, a million followers on five different channels, and it's the same people subscribing. Because this episode was so was saying for years now. That was in fifteen. Doodle garbage said I fell off. Right. See, a lot of y'all don't notice DDG. Every time he fall off, he make a new channel. And I think he gave, like, I can't even take, I think his brother got one of his fell off channels. He gives the channels he I fell mean, off away. That's the thing. I, I do give DDG his props for, like, you know, putting his family on. Like, like he'll give channels away. I don't think, I don't know if he, I don't think he'll wait till they fall off to give them away. But props to him for giving his channels away. I think he gave one of his parents one. I don't know if Dub ended up making his own or did he give Dub one as well? I don't know. But I know he put Dub on. Channel? Did you turn that into a plug channel? I bet that fell off as well. See, you talking about falling off. When you have been trying to keep your career going, you have been, my nigga, you, your health bar been blinking for the past 10 years. That's the Bro. thing. I don't get why DDG mentioned fell off because like, so went on this spiritual route with his videos, but even then, it's like so could make a video talk, just chat, just chatting outside. Like I won't say just chatting, cause like I say, sometimes sometimes he do make points. He can make a video just talking with his shirt off outside, pull a hundred k viewers with no problem. It's like people watch Soul's core fan base; they watch him for him. So. So I won't say he fell off necessarily. YouTube, DDG, you literally, you can't create content alone. People watch you for the shit that you bring. You are not funny. You can't, you're not. That's bro. subjective. Wait, is it subjective or objective? I don't know. It's uh, That's an opinion. But in Soul's defense, I don't really see too many people go around saying, I, I think DDG is pretty funny. So, I get where he's coming from with that. I guarantee you, DDG cannot be entertaining without talking about his jewelry, cars, and clothes. He cannot be entertaining if... That's another thing. I, I've been seeing so talk about this for a long time. That DDG is a very materialistic person. And so, on the other end, on the opposite spectrum, is a very minimalistic person. So, I mean... I'm not really a fan of the materialistic things either. Other people is not in his vids. He's going to create fake vids with his little family. He's been doing this shit for the past five years. Fake scripted vids with his sister and boyfriend. Fake scripted vids with celebrities. How many rappers watching this right now? And DDG scripted and directed your whole fake video. Whenever you see DDG on streams, whenever you see, wherever you see doodoo garbage at, it's fake. It's scripted. Everything about him is fake. So you got to ask yourself. How do he create content? He leech off people that's popping. He will. I don't know how it's possible, but every time it's a new popping streamer or a new popping YouTuber, DDG's doo doo garbage spawn out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know how. What I'm trying to tell y'all is this: you talking about I fell off because I've been gone mourning what happened to my brother, going through shit with my family. So I've been gone because I'm inactive. So you say I fell off. Tell the world how many channels you had since 2015. And the channel that you're using right now, your channel that you're probably getting views on, pay attention to that. It's only because of the people that's in it, not him. If he posts vids by itself, you're not going to watch it. If he's doing mukbangs or something, it has to be something else other than him. He has very low self-esteem. This is why he has I to do buy say, I do say people who are very materialistic, a lot of times they... Go on about the cars, the money, the jewelry, and all of that. Because something else is lacking in their life. So I always had that theory of about people being who are part of flex culture being um, insecure. Hurry for you to fuck with him. But the older you get, the more you're going to see him for what he is. Man, he be buying all this random bum ass shit that nobody even know what it is. He got to fit in. That's how he fit in. He's not accepted for who he are. He can't go out in nature and just be himself. He can't drop a video like this and just be himself. You get what I'm saying? His girlfriend ain't even his. <laughs> his whole life, he's a broke, dead, spiritual ass nigga, y'all. He's dead spiritually. 
He don't know nothing. He just want to fit in. As long as he can be around rappers, DDG is perfectly, Doodle Garbage is perfectly fine. Don't call him DDG. His name is Doodle Garbage. Simple. Now listen, like I told y'all, I haven't seen none of his content. I know from clips that he been speaking on me, but I guarantee you everything I'm saying is facts. If you go and look at DDG most popping channel, all of the videos evolve, it involves other people, not him. That's the only way he can keep shit going. And I promise you that channel is going to die too. He's going to sell that channel, probably give it to a family member. Man, he can he didn't gave away a lot of channels. Y'all have no clue DDG fell off 10 times. <laughs> This is why he wants to be labeled as a rapper so bad, praying he make it. <laughs> he can't even find it. He's so spiritually dead, he can't even find his sound with music. Who do DDG sound like? Everybody. You don't be like, oh, he's, you don't never hear somebody and be like, oh, that dude sound like DDG. No. Doodle -doo garbage sound like everybody. A nigga, you from Michigan, Detroit? Don't fuck with you. You must have been from the Burbs. That's tough. Sick. But anyway... I have no problem with DD doo doo garbage. I just don't understand why would you try to like do that to me while I'm going through some of the toughest times. I don't even speak on you. I always find myself responding to you. But listen, this is enough. That's all I gotta say. You can't name five DDG songs. It's not possible. Man, Bruce and this five DDG songs, Moonwalking and Calabasas. And I'm geeking. I'm the only. And he remixed those songs so many times. That makes up five songs right there. But on the real though, like it's it's funny to me every time I see somebody do the do the top five DDG hits. Well, I'm not really. There's a lot of rappers I can't really name five hits for. So yeah, you can't. What is five of DDG's greatest hits? You can't name it. <laughs> I'm on a whole nother level on Geeky. Now you making music. I told you you make music for niggas who wear open toe sandals with no socks. Remember I told you that? Now you just saying, I'm Geeky. Like, bro, that's a tick. Bro, TikTok is serious. TikTok can have you thinking your song really popping. It happened to me with my Are We Living in a Dream. Remember, Will Smith even did a TikTok. Oh, song, Will bro. Smith shot Will After Smith. those five seconds, niggas is not listening to your song, doo doo garbage. Say goodbye, my nigga. I even show you on Spotify. Nigga, I got heli streams. They ran my shit out <laughs> on TikTok. Y'all know that. <laughs> oh, my bad, y'all. 3.5 million streams? Dang, I ain't knew so was like that. I know so had a album. I mean, it became a meme, but I didn't know 3.5 million. At home from my Yeti mic. <laughs> they did no mix it. A, a it still got millions of streams. Just to show y'all, you don't have to do none of that weird shit these industry niggas be doing. Do it yourself. Anyway, man, take care of yourself, man. For sure. And I'm out, bro. Hey, man. So spoke a lot of facts in the video.